Now, if you're a business owner and you acquire customers via Facebook, via Google, via Instagram, via Snapchat, LinkedIn, you name it, you're doing something right. But do not, do not fail to implement an email marketing strategy. Now, in this video today, I will be talking about the importance of email campaigns and how to build an email list so you can constantly reach out to your customers, retarget your customers and market to them. Now, my name's Dominic, stick around and you're in for a treat. Right, so let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. Actually, before we do so, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Dominic. Hit that subscription button and notification bell so you don't miss any content from me and smash the like button because it really does help the YouTube algorithm. Now, I had to put this video out there because right now I am seeing so many, so many businesses neglect emails and I actually don't know why. Now. Running Facebook ads, running um, Google ads, doing SEO is important. 100% is important. If you're doing it, great. Now, do not, do not sleep on email marketing. And the reason why is there is so much benefit from running a solid campaign. Not just making money from your email list, but also in relation to data and AI, which I'll touch on briefly later. Now, how to build an email list is super easy. So I'm gonna assume you actually have a website. So if you're a business owner watching this, if you're an agency owner watching this, um, if you're in the B2B or B2C space, keep watching. Right, so first and foremost, you have a website. Let's just use a hypothetical example of someone in the fitness niche, right? So you do, for example, meal plans, you are a coach, you're a personal trainer. Now, if you have a website and you've got a nice, you know, banner that says get fit with Dom, right? I'm not a PT, by the way. And um, learn more about our meal plans, um, learn more about our um, weight um, loss program, etc., etc. All you need to do is implement a few things to start capturing emails of people who are visiting your site who might be interested. Now, one of the first things that you should have on your site is something called an exit pop-up, right? I'll say that again. It's called an exit pop-up. Now, what this is, is when someone is navigating away from your site, it actually pops up on their screen and provides an offer. And this offer might be 20% off meal plans um, by subscribing and by subscribing, um, to our newsletter and purchasing your first meal plan. Someone might see this offer of 20% off and think, hang on, this would really work because I'm trying to get in shape into for summer. And you know what? When we're out of you know quarantine right now, we're all under quarantine, it's 2020 as I'm filming this and it's April. I want to get in shape. So they'll enter their email address and guess what? You've got someone who might buy from you, and if they don't, you can retarget them or you can eventually run Facebook ads and advertise to them and people who are similar to them, right? So that's the first thing. Getting an exit pop-up implemented on your website, you can do completely for free. So get an exit pop-up. You're leaving money on the table without this, all right? Now, the second thing you can do on your site is, and I touched on this briefly, right? Is create like an opt-in for a newsletter. So you could have on your website um, an ebook, right? And this ebook or this newsletter, as an example, that you have to opt in for, right? What you'll get in exchange is an, an email. You'll get a subscriber, right? So you'll get a new email address into that database, right? So if you give away something, right, something of value, it could be a um, opt into our newsletter for weekly updates on. Um, top tips on nutrition or it could be an ebook for example which says um, a shortcut to six-pack abs 
Now this is going to grab everyone's attention, right? Because the older you get, the metabolism slows down and everyone wants to stay in shape and keep healthy. You might not want to be aesthetically amazing, but you just want to be healthy, right? So they will probably read it and they'll probably give you their email because they think, look, I'll either look pretty hot for women on the beach, guys, and women, I'll look pretty hot on the beach for guys, etc. Right? So they will download that ebook and you have their email address. Now you've got their email address, you are in an amazing, amazing, amazing scenario because now you can do so much. You can continually market to them and eventually, potentially, earn them as a customer. Right? So that's the second tip. A newsletter slash ebook it's kind of two and three combined in one but you get it give away something like an ebook in exchange for data now the third thing and something that I recommend especially if you're in the B2B space so let's say for example you are in the agency space if you offer a business owner a free audit on their website so you run a marketing agency or you run an SEO or creative digital marketing agency where you do video and all type of beautiful graphics for clients and you said you know what client you've landed on our site and we want to give you an audit of your business to see how with video and um, impressive creatives we can help you get more customers and drive more traffic to your site and you as an agency owner are going to give a free audit why would they not take it so giving away an audit or a free audit from a professional who's like a consultant and you're getting that email address and you're in exchange given an audit you're going to get that email you're going to obviously build trust and you will more than likely convert them into a client especially if you have showed them where they can definitely improve to optimize their site or optimize their business and get more revenue every business owner wants more leads and wants more revenue all right so definitely using an audit strategy will 100 percent help you implement it in your site right that's a third tip now the fourth thing is called a content upgrade now not a lot of people are using this not a lot of people know what it is but have you ever read a blog online and let's say for example you are in finance niche and you for example i don't know you did forex or you did insurance right so you provided insurance to small businesses or to people so you sold life insurance and you had your own website now, if you had your own website as a life insurance person or a mortgage broker as an example and you had a blog on why you need life insurance or you had a blog as a mortgage broker on um, tips for first-time buyers in that blog have something which you could click on right and when you click on it, it will be a hyperlink that opens up into something where you can opt in to actually get more information. So if they're reading half of the blog and they're actually opt in to, you know, get more information from a hyperlink while they're reading because they're loving this knowledge and they get more information if they enter their email, why would they not give you that email address? You're already helping them. And as humans, if, they're, if you're already receiving help, you naturally feel obliged to return the favor. So implementing a content upgrade will help you so, so much, right? I've used this with clients and I've helped clients build lists of over 10,000, 50,000. So definitely implement these strategies. Now, the fifth and final strategy that I'm gonna give you is one which will require some collaboration, all right? Now, there's so many I could give you. I, I, there's so many tips I could give you, but this fifth one is an amazing one, right? And this is in relation to competitions. Now, if you run a competition, you will get thousands of emails. If you're giving away something for free, you will get so many emails. Now, I've done this with a client of mine who was in the beauty niche. They um, sold um, like hair extension brushes, for example. We helped them create a competition and we managed to get over 5,000 emails in under 14 days. It was actually insane, right? Now, we combined it literally just like a giveaway on Facebook and Instagram. And it, within like a short space of time, we saw their email list just skyrocket, right? So giving away something 
um, in exchange for an email list. So in, in part of your terms and conditions of your competition, it would pretty much say opt in by submitting your email, um, liking this on Facebook and Instagram, um, etc, etc. In exchange, we'll announce the winner by email. We've done this and we've got so many emails. So do a competition. Now there's so many other tips and tricks. Um, I'll give a bonus one away just because I have to, I just, it's on my brain. Um, quizzes. Quizzes are amazing. So if you are out there and you are in a niche where it's good to get collaborative with people um, who visit your site, implement a quiz. A short quiz is fun, it's interactive on a site. And at the end, to get your results as an example, you have to give your email address, you will get so many emails. Now that was a bonus one, that was number six. If you have liked this video, please smash that like button. It will really help the YouTube algorithm so more people can get content from me and scale their business. That's all I'm here for. Um, it's been great you listening. Thank you so much. Um, make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. Have a good weekend. Take care. Peace.